Autumn 2019 was disappointing. Cool, cloudy, wet and dismal for the most part. High winds stripped leaves from many of the trees before they had a chance to change. Color was sporadic. A brilliant tree here or there, like an occasional solo tune, but no symphonies. October 24th was a rare exception. With lots of sunshine in the forecast, but still lower than normal temperatures, I decided to head to nearby Whitewater State Park to do some hiking. Although excited about the hike, I wasn't very hopeful that I'd find much color to photograph. I was pleasantly surprised. In a previous video, I had mentioned Chimney Rock. It seemed a fitting destination for this hike. After crossing the CCC bridge, I was soon hiking steeply out of the valley. Finally reaching the top, I then followed a more gentle slope along the ridge. Eventually, I was treated to a view of Chimney Rock with the bright blue sky as a backdrop. While the goal was now in sight, the ascent got a bit more difficult.
Before exploring the chimney, I paused to eat the lunch I'd brought with me. And what a great sight for a lunch it was. Then it was time to crawl into the cave. The rock floor was polished smooth by the countless others who had explored here before me. That floor was also hard on my old knees. The views out the windows were well worth it though. Emerging safely from the cave, I then proceeded further up the ridge where a great overlook awaited. above Chimney Rock for over an hour now, probably getting close to two hours since lunchtime anyway. Uh, it's just been fantastic up here, lots of fall color. The light keeps changing because the, there's clouds uh, blowing across. Actually they're getting a little bit more, be more and more clouds now than there were earlier but anyway because of that the light keeps changing keeps highlighting different parts of the uh, hills around me so uh, light keeps because the light keeps changing it keeps uh, making the di pictures different and uh, so I've just been going crazy up here I've already taken one time lapse I'm in the middle of taking another one now each one has taken me half an hour so uh, for quite a while there were a couple of other photographers up here from Shakopee. So uh, I was talking with them a little bit and interacting and whatever. So uh, that was kind of fun. So anyway, uh, got to sit here now and wait until this time lapse is over. There's probably about 20 minutes left of that. And then I'm going to move on along the trail. Like I said, the sun is kind of disappearing now. Uh, the clouds are just getting thicker and thicker and 
more of them but it's still a nice interesting day So that's the parking lot down there where I've got my car. And you can see the trail coming across, across the one bridge. Swimming area is down there. Landscape photography is easy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Right now, I'm waiting with these clouds the way they're working. What I'd like to do is get all this foreground stuff in shade and have those trees over there lit up by the sun. <laughs> I keep getting the opposite. I keep getting these lit up real nicely and this in the dark or when those do get lit up these are even lit up even more and uh, I think it's kind of obvious why I want it the other way around I want those trees over there to really pop compared to the foreground here I've been waiting here probably 15 to 20 minutes for that for those conditions and like I said the complete opposite keeps happening. I mean, right now I don't have sunshine on either one, but unfortunately I keep getting more sunshine on the foreground than I do on the background. So, I don't know how much longer I'll wait, but uh, it's kind of frustrating when you, when you want certain things and uh, Mother Nature just doesn't cooperate. And I know that as soon as I pack up and head on down the trail, I'll get the conditions I want. The way these clouds are, right now, as you can see, there's a few blue patches, but not many. So if and when I do get those conditions, it's going to be a fleeting moment. So I'm not going to even get a lot of opportunity to adjust exposure or anything like that. So basically got to nail it when it gets there. There does seem to be a blue patch that's moving kind of into the right position. Uh, just got to be a little bit patient, I guess, and hope it happens. Well, it didn't last very long. I mean. Once again, it's lit up across the way, but I've also got sunshine close too, but I think I got a couple of shots that were closer to what I wanted. Yeah, as you can see, we got sunshine up front again, while we got sunshine back there. Well, I think I got what I wanted, so I'm going to move on now. I'm standing here way too long. It turns out that I didn't get what I wanted. I'll have to try again sometime in the future. Sometimes patience pays off, 
Other times, not so much. Okay, I'm back down at the bottom now. From here, the trail follows the river back upstream. Here's a big sandstone wall, cliff, whatever. Gorgeous. Looks like the clouds are moving out. Looks like it's clearing up again. Beautiful trail down on the river here. I'll have a look at the river. How is it was before? It's clearing up rather rapidly now. Another sandstone wall. Should have stayed on top a little bit longer. <laughs> oh well. 
Reluctant to call it a day after completing the Chimney Rock Trail, I headed for the Trout Run Creek Trail. for home pretty soon so I didn't get very far up this trail but I think it's time to uh, call it a day call it quits head for home so it's been a fun day fun after well fun day been a fun day out here productive day I've added to my backlog both the photos and videos. Oh well. So, until next time, hope to see you on trail, watery or otherwise. And uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe if you haven't already. All that good stuff. We'll see you in the next video. Navy Mox out. Mm -hmm.